Hey, hello there. This is KD Zone again, and uh, this is a game of Uno Rage. And uh, I spoke about Uno Rage recently uh, in Reddit, and uh, I'm going to try to do a Uno Rage with uh, gods because why not? And uh, what is Uno Rage? So Uno Rage is a kind of a game where you try to win the game with just one kind of unit. You're not allowed to make anything else. So villager is a unit, I know. So it's rather you have to make one kind of military unit and this fellow this scout cavalry won't be counted so what i'm going to make with uh, gods let me think let me think militia yes um, infantry civilization like god and why not go militia route so that's the plan that's the plan and uh, i'm going to play uh, i'm playing right now against the hard ai right now and uh, it's not very you know, easy to do it against the hardest ai i've tried it once and I uh, failed in 35 minutes in Castle Age, but I think I can do it against the hardest AI too. So I would try that once again and probably post a video of that later. But for now, for now, I have the game against the hard AI and I've chosen Gods, obviously because they are very good infantry civ. They have a 35% bonus in Feudal Age uh, and 35% less resources required for the military, for the infantry units. In feudal age and uh, and gods is pretty good uh, because uh, they are because they have the other bonuses but I'm not going to use those bonuses like uh, perfusion or uh, even uh, anarchy because I don't, I'm not going to go the Huskar route I'm going to go to militia route and uh, the initial plan was to win this game with uh, militia but that would not be very easy so I would go to man at arms and then eventually to long swordsman so that's how it's going to be. I'm at Loom right now. I've gone gone for my first board, and uh, that's how I am right now. I'm scouting all around the map. I don't think I've got all my sheep, and uh, that's how it is. It's not very important the game right now. So I'm going to fast forward a bit, and I'm also going to look at my AI. What he is? He is Breton, so he's going to make a lot of uh, archers, I believe. And I think Maradams are not very bad against archers. They have one pierce armor. That solitary one pierce armor. And that would do them some good, some good. And uh, uh, and this game uh, is uh, it's it's nice. This uh, I think you guys should try it against a human opponent. But it's very difficult against a human opponent uh, because if if I'm doing it against a human opponent, right, he would probably go the militia route too and just uh, leave doing uh, their skirmishers and uh, archers. So, so yeah, uh, it's very difficult against a human opponent, but uh, you can give it a try. You can give it a try, probably against a lower rank player to start with, a less than 1600 player, and uh, maybe, maybe after that you can slowly uh, do it against better players. But yeah, for now, I think you should do it against a, a lesser rank player. I would, I would middle those deer over there. That's that's okay. And uh, uh, I'm on 21 pop, and I haven't gone to. A few late. I'm going to lose a lot of time getting the second uh, bow. That is bad. That is not great. But at least I'll put the bow right beneath the town center. Oh, so that that's good. And I'm going to slow it a bit and see what my uh, opponent is doing. My AI. He is. He, you know, he always keeps his base uh, intact uh, all around this town center. He keeps his villages very close to the town center. He plays a very compact game. And that's how he is all the time, the AI. So it's not very easy to hit his villagers because they're gonna be very close to the, the town center. And if you have archers, if you have scums, then it's pretty easy because you are from a distance, right? You can hit them from a distance. But with man at arms, it's not that it's not, not that easy because you have to go close to them and they will run towards the TC. So it's it's a challenge. It's a challenge to do it against a, a human opponent against the AI. It's not that great a challenge, but you can still you might still suffer a bit because um, they make a lot of units. So the target is to make the villagers die. You need to kill the villagers because that's how it should be, and um, that's the plan. That's my plan. I'm going to just go and hit their villagers, and you can see I've already put down two barracks. I'm going to. I've already gone to uh, feudal age and uh, bringing out militia. My plan was to get a few militia out and then do the man at arms research and probably also do the, the double bit axe. And I'm going to do it in, a, in some time, probably. I've already done it. So, yeah, militia is coming out and I'm going to go do the man at arms research in some time, I believe. Uh, when is it? Yeah. There you go, the man at arms research. So, few militia already on the base on the map, and I've done a man at arms research. 
and uh, the harassment should start. I'm on 29 pop, the AI is on 27 pop, and he's put down his uh, uh, military buildings, he's put down an archer range, taking some archers and scums out, so that's not uh, great because uh, he doesn't do a lot of uh, a lot of barrack units, he does take out a bit of um, uh, pikes, or uh, yeah, but he's not doing that. He's a Breton player, so probably the AI is programmed to make archer units, uh, so that's 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 what he's doing right now. He's putting down a second archer range, and I'm already going to send my man at arms. I'm going to fast forward a bit because I'm going to see my man at arms, and that's that's the plan right now uh, to attack the villagers and uh, uh, try to uh, hurt the economy because that's what you're supposed to do to win this game, and uh, especially against the AI. And um, that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm not going to produce a lot of villagers right now because it's important to keep on pumping out uh, those uh, man at arms and uh, they are of I think 39 food and uh, 13 gold but with the 35% uh, cheaper uh, got units they are much cheaper than that and the, as far as the research is concerned I'm going to put down my uh, blacksmith because it's important to make your uh, man at arms a little stronger so I'm going to do that eventually but for now I'm just uh, trying to hit them uh, with uh, my man at arms and I'm trying to hit uh, the villagers but I'm trying to hit a few of their army units too but yeah mostly mostly villagers right now so that's what I'm trying to do it's pretty easy against the, uh, the AI because you can see the AI uh, uh, really panics and uh, he would uh, actually send his villagers away you can see he's built one a lumber camp over there he might want to build one over here probably is it yes there you see that's what the AI do that's, that's a good thing to do actually but uh, I, I've done one focal point attack over here. I'm going to come out, come down from this route now and try to hurt these villagers because hurting the villagers is very important. And uh, if you go to my base right now, I put down my uh, uh, blacksmith. I've done uh, the forging resource. That's the first which I would do, and that would increase the attack of my uh, man at arms. And uh, that's a good thing, always, right? You can see the 6 plus 1 over there. And uh, that's what I've done so far. Am I producing a lot of uh, villages? No, because I'm taking out uh, man at arms. Uh, actually, I'm not even doing that. So that's a bit crappy right now. So yeah, um, let's see. I am hurting their villages at least. And uh, what's my plan? Uh, do I want to go to Castle Age? Yes, I do. I do. I want to go to Castle Age because I, it's not very easy to win it with just man at arms. But I've already done some damage to the economy. You can look at that. The economy is very bad right now. They're on 46 pop, which is actually more than me, but the economy is not good. So uh, th this is the time when the AI plays a really good game from the 15 to 25th minute, where they build a very good economy. You can see the villagers are attacking the, the husky man at arms, but that's, that's not a great idea right now. So it's pretty easy to fool the AI, even the hard AI, or even, even the hardest AI for that matter. So it's pretty easy right now, easy peasy. And uh, let me see what I'm doing right now. I am, uh, I've hit Castle Age. I think that's because of the market. I have sold uh, wood, I have brought food. And uh, I think I was high on gold too because you don't really need much gold for those man at arms. So I've hit Castle Age right now with just 32 pop. And let's look at uh, Richard, the AI. He's very, very low on food right now. And I don't think he's going to reach Castle Age very soon but you never know the AI does stuff he also uh, does uh, selling and buying in the market he's sending some uh, army forward um, but I don't think that's going to cause any damage and if you delay at least you're not going to lose to the, that army and uh, right now I don't have any army in his base this is the time I was uh, I was put back a bit and I was trying to recover from the early damage that I had done to his economy I don't lose any villages in this fight I don't lose any villages I think yes um, in this game rather so I'm pretty good over there so if I look at my I'm about to hit castle age and uh, it's a good thing to do a uh, barracks in front you know he has the three crappy gold over there that's pretty bad I don't know what's that fourth goal uh, is that gold mine I think that is my gold uh, why does the AI have one extra goal I really don't know that's a bit weird and uh, let's see what I'm going to do right now. Do I hit the long swordsman research right away? I think before hitting the long swordsman, I don't attack him. So that was the plan. I would build a few more man at arms before I would hit the long swordsman research and then go to his base here again. And he, you can see he's spread out his villagers. He is building a market he, because uh, because he was want to go to the castle age. I think I think it's going to hit the castle age in some time because it wants to do a buying and selling in the market like I did 
Uh, yes, he will do that. No, not yet, not yet. But yeah, eventually I think he would want to do that. He's, he's much better pop than me right now. Yes, but he's not producing any army right now. And I have done my long swordsman research. Uh, they are 60 HP and 9 plus 1 on the tag. So that's great. And uh, I think I'm going to do a scale mail armor research because that is important because you're playing against the Britons and they have the archers. So it's good to have one more pierce armor. So that's one research I'll do. And I'll also do fletching because I'm going to do towers right now. So that was also in the plan. And uh, I think fletching is going to help me with the towers. Uh, on the towers rather, plus one attack and plus one range uh, for the towers. So you can see I've already sent my uh, my army into the open space, the long swordsman. And uh, the AI is not really doing anything right now. He's not producing any army. He's just producing a few archers. And these archers are not going to cause a lot of damage uh, to my tanky uh, long swordsman. So I'm building some army right now over here. I've got uh, three barracks and uh, I've done my chain mail uh, armor research, which is also great. And uh, right now I'm producing from my town centers. Yes, I am. I am starting to uh, get some stone because I'm gonna hit towers over there. I'm gonna fast forward this a bit. And you can see I've got my first tower. I'm sending my um, uh, long swordsman to this wood line because this is where I find easy to hit rather than from the front so they're already panicking you can see they're already panicking and uh, they are on 64 pop they are already on castle age he's going to build a siege workshop because that's what he does right after going to castle age he sends a lot of army forward but that's that's building that building is going to cost them a lot of time because it's going to hit that building the ai rather than going forward this was the time when he could have come forward and done a lot of damage but the AI didn't do that. Instead, he just wants to bring this watchtower down. That's it. That's what the AI is doing right now. But I'm sending out my infantry and trying to hurt them at uh, different positions. So that's a good thing. I'm trying to hit their villagers. I'm not concentrating at all on their army. I'm not bothered about their brilliant crossbow. So I'm just bringing my towers up, which is always a good thing to do. You can see I've got a very good um, armor right now. And I'm gonna send the army forward, try to bring down their military, uh, their battering rams, which is a good thing to do because I want my towers to stay because they're very important in this game right now. And um, I think it's pretty much uh, game over for the AI. I'm on 40, I'm on uh, 73 pop right now, and the AI is on 49 pop. And uh, it's difficult for him to produce army. You can see that his archery ranges are uh, idle right now, and. Uh, Sparrows are idle too. A siege workshop is also idle, so it's difficult for the AI to, to you know, concentrate on building her army when they are being harassed all over the map. So that that's the strategy you do against the AI. Uh, the hardest AI also plays pretty much similar, but the hardest AI I think would have played a much better game than this. Uh, the hardest AI does a better defense also. Uh, sometimes. Um, the hardest AI would send a huge, huge pile of army to your base, which is very difficult to contain with. So uh, I think a uh, hard AI is pretty easy to play with. And uh, right now, what am I doing? I'm producing army. No, I am not. Yes, I am from uh, the barracks. And uh, so that was the game. That was the Uno Rage I was talking about, and uh, it came out pretty successful because I'm going to win this game and. Uh, I'm going to win it pretty easily. I didn't make any other unit, obviously. That was the whole point of this game. And uh, uh, I would want to do a game with one kind of siege, but that is going to be very difficult. But I'm still going to try and try that against the hard AI. And uh, I would want you guys to try it too against uh, the hard, uh, probably, probably the hardest AI. And send me the games uh, to ktgozone at gmail.com. And uh, I would uh, want to play a tournament even with Huna Rage. It's it's nice. I, I think a lot of players have done it. Obviously, I've seen a few videos of Tato doing it, a few videos of even Slam doing it. But uh, but I, I don't know whether it was entirely Huna Rage. It was entirely intentional. Uh, I think ma they made a few other units too. Uh, there was Daud playing that incredible game with Scorpions, but uh, he made a few other units before making Scorpions. So entirely uno rage, entirely one unit. I don't think a lot of players have done it. So it would be fun. It would be interesting. 
it doesn't need a lot of skills but if you're playing against a human opponent i think you need a lot of skills but in this case i think human opponent would have obviously gone the infantry line he would have gone for his own infantry against my long swordsman so that would have been interesting but uh, he's a Breton player if he was a Breton player then it would have been uh, pretty difficult for him to contain my push my push with the gods and uh, that's how it is I think uh, that was the game 43 minutes it took me which is not great and uh, I should have done it much earlier but that's how it is and that's how the game ends and uh, if you look at the number of infantry I had so I had 47 47 long swordsmen to finish off the game so that was it that was it my first uno rage game against the hard ai and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it uh, and uh, hope you guys uh, try it for yourself and see how it is against uh, the computer and also against human opponents and send me and send me your uh, records to my gmail id or even just ping me and let me know about it so bye bye for now and uh, have fun. Bye-bye.